What's up everybody? When most people think of the late DMX and acting, they think about the classic movie Belly with fellow rapper Nas. And don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Belly and watched it several times. But as for me, when I think of DMX movies, I think about the little talked about movie called Never Die Alone. If you are a power fan and have not seen this movie, go check it out now while power is currently on hiatus and we are awaiting season three of Ghost. I promise you will thank me later. Without spoiling the movie, DMX plays a character named King David. Like the Bible, except this is no man of God. This King David is a straight demon. He is a mid-level heroin dealer who had been working for a kingpin named Moon for years. Because King David earned Moon's trust, he got Moon to front him several kilos, maybe 10. I can't honestly remember how many. But King David got the work, skipped town, and headed to L.A. King David liked to turn his women into junkies so he could control them. And before leaving town, he poisons his baby mama's heroin so she would die. He also slashed his young son's face, leaving a scar. Several years later, King David returns home to make amends with Moon to pay him his money back with interest. But who does Moon send to go collect but Michael? King David's son, who is now in a similar role in Moon's organization as his dad was before skipping town. But Moon makes Michael and his associate promise not to harm King David, simply collect the money and return. However, when they go to pick up the money, not knowing that Michael is his son, King David calls him Scarface. And I will leave it there for you to go check out the movie. But I said that to say this, the character Michael from Never Die Alone reminds me a whole lot of what I would imagine a young ghost James St. Patrick would have been like in power. Very intelligent, could have been successful in multiple ventures, but circumstances found him in the streets, calculated and under control, but yet a skilled killer. Both started out in the streets very young. Michael's mom died when he was just a kid. Gross grew up without a mom. And both of their dads were drug dealers. I know, I know, I will get a lot of backlash saying Ghost's dad was a drug dealer because he didn't want ghosts in the streets and behaved the exact same way that Ghost did towards Tariq. And even said some of the same things like drug dealers either end up dead or in jail. I have a whole video on this topic, but honestly, you can just go back to Power Season 1, Episode 1 and listen to Ghost Meeting with Felipe Lopez. Anyway, I'll get back to Ghost Family in a minute. This character, Michael, in Never Die Alone was played by an actor named Michael Ely. Now, this actor has been cast in blockbuster movies like About Last Night, Think Like a Man, Barbershop, and many more. But as for me, I remember this actor from his role in the movie, Never Die Alone. Oh, my bad. If you haven't got the memo, Michael Ely has been cast for Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. So would Power hire an actor with this type of credentials just to have a regular role like a professor at Stansfield? No knock on tape, but to be honest, he's not just a professor. He's a professor, a councilman, soon to be congressman, a cop, and as crooked as they come. It's already been announced by showrunner Courtney Kemp that Ghost does have a brother, so it's only a matter of time until his brother is revealed on the show in a mega plot twist, which might come as one of the biggest moments in power history. So who better for the role than powerhouse actor Michael Ely? What better time for this to happen than season 4? Except I don't think we're going to have to wait for season 4. Though Ely was officially cast for season 4, don't be surprised if he makes his debut in shocking fashion on the Ghost Season 3 finale. 
To make things even more interesting, Ely is the exact same height and the exact same age as James St. Patrick actor Omari Hardwick. Not to mention the two actors do kind of look alike. Not saying they could be twins, but you do a Google search and tell me. So whether this character is younger, older, or ghost twin, the real question is where has he been for the last 20 to 30 years? And my number one theory is he has been locked away in prison somewhere doing a 30 year bid and will be released and Uncle Gabe will be the link that hooks him up with Tariq. If Ghost knew he had a brother, who else would know about it? I say if he knew because remember Ghost grew up without a mom. So this brother could very well be a half brother that Ghost knows absolutely nothing about. But if he did know, others who would know would be Uncle Gabe for sure, Tommy Egan, Kate Egan, Tasha St. Patrick, and Paz Valdez. There's also a possibility that this character chose the path that James didn't and got out of the streets and moved away from New York and has to return back because he's sick and needs some sort of transplant, similar to Detective Howard in Raising Cain in Season 1. And he returns home, turning to his uncle Gabe, who introduces him to Tariq. And before I go, I got to say this. The mega plot twist would be Ghost is still alive and went to stay with his brother in Atlanta. This would turn the power universe upside down and it might even break the internet. Just a few possibilities on the role Michael Ely will play in the power universe. Leave your predictions in the comments.